Hello and welcome to Respect the Crit. I'm your host and game master, Ian Duncan. My pronouns are he, him, any, and I am joined by some wonderful people and some incredible friends. Please welcome Jamie Lee Bonez. Hello, I am Jamie. I play Elo, the modified medical droid uh, slash mercenary soldier. I am she, her, they are, they, them. And Susan Spinader. Hi, I'm Susan. Uh, she, her, I'll be playing Zalora Veo, the Twi'lek smuggler pilot, also she, her. God, I thought you were going to say princess <laughs> at, at some point, and I was like, I know she's not, but she has that air of like, <laughs> she has that air of like, she's like Han Solo and Princess Leia if they were one being, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> I'm just living my best Star Wars life as uh, Zalora over here. <laughs> exactly so. God, and I'm so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was as cool as her, but not with as many addictions as her. <laughs> <laughs> More royalty joining us also. Please welcome Alex Herrera. Hello, I'm Alex. I play Beakax Botano, the Doug Slicer. Both of us are he, him. Uh, nothing fancy. No, Beakax is not a princess. Although he could be if he wanted to, but I mean, he's not one for royalty <laughs> or attention. It's not his thing. <laughs> He's a different kind of princess. He's like a, <laughs> he's like a scrunkly princess. Oh, yeah. Jer a Jersey Shore royalty, if you will. Mm. Um, wow, I did that I, I did that in a, in a different order. I, I know. Usually yeah, I, was don't, I, I think I flipped Alex and Didn't like it. Didn't that, like it. Don't like that. Like I was last. so no. surprised. I'm not sure if you heard it. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awful. Okay. Terrible. Shut it down. It's over. <laughs> Listeners are that UN guy meme ripping the ear the earphone. <laughs> I love that meme. <laughs> well, no, no. Hang on, listeners. No, Wait, no, don't, don't, leave, don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Yeah, we, don't leave. Leave. Yeah, we have we have uh, uh, an incredible encounter to continue with the rest of the skirmish in the scraplands and things are really heating up uh, for everyone. So I, I I don't think we should waste any more time here and we'll give the people what they want. Let's do some Star Wars. What do you say? Punch it. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Episode 68. Skirmish in the Scraplands, Part 3. Taking heavy losses and losing ground, the fearless fringers encounter a new challenger as a powerful force user enters the fray. While this dark figure takes a focused interest on Big Axe, Zalora finds herself emerged in a geothermally formed pit beneath the piles of refuse. The cargo bay door of some junk ship lies below, promising possible safety but also threatening to become a tomb. With no time and little options, the fearless fringers and the worthless must make a treacherous gamble among the garbage if they hope to survive. Our camera starts on Ello, their eye lights illuminating their droid face the waveform screen of their mouth, a tense, straight line. If a droid could express emotion, it might be one of dread, despair, or possibly just crunching the numbers as to the odds of survival. Which, by the way, never tell Elo the odds. Because why calculate odds when you can throw grenades? They watch as this force user towers darkly over Begax, laser focused in the corpse of this derailed train car. And Jamie, I believe where we last left things, it was your turn. What would you like to do? I think Ello, without seeing really any other option, is going to jump into the cargo bay and follow. Solora. Ello starts booking it, jumping through the vent that is newly formed, landing near near Zalora. So we had a we had a PC slot. Okay, a couple things are gonna happen. So Ello has moved into the crater. Bigax, you're gonna see uh, some of these uh, scrappers come out of the fog and begin to climb up into the train, and they're gonna take some shots on some of these protocol trains. 
Wow, mostly blanks, but that is still two success oh, and shit. one advantage. Boom, yeah, shoot into these protocol droids. Uh, one of them takes a hit. There's three of them now, like, in this train car with BGX and this figure. Next is going to be... Crew of the way. They're just gonna take. I mean, they're they're out here. They're just gonna take some shots. Rats, of course, gonna fire because of course he is. Why would why would he not? Even if he can't see anything, that's okay. That doesn't stop. <laughs> fire blindly into crowds. <laughs> one success and one threat, though. Rat shoots, and you hear like and like a, a cry, like a, a scream, and this cybernetic sort of like. A computerized voice like cries out in the mist, and uh, Rat turns around to Gur and like, got him. <laughs> 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 then I think it's gonna be a the final PC slot. That's me. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, uh, you commanded these protocol droids to go, but they didn't actually do anything. Let's have them do actually something. They're gonna fire at this dude here to protect BGX. Two advantages is all that they got. So BGX, uh, that is going to be a blue die to your next roll. You specifically, because that is how the, they are protecting you. Then to a PC slot. Thank you. Zalora is going to look around in this cargo bay that she finds herself in. Is there anywhere else to go or am I just like in a hole in the ground. You're kind of just in a hole in the ground. You could scramble back up, but in this hole, like the cargo bay, it sort of like blasted its way and like that was revealed. And there seems to be like an entrance here now. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know if like it, the rest of the ship was somehow available. Not that I wanted to fly it more like more places to hide, but this doesn't seem like good in-game. What is our in-game now, guys? <laughs> uh, we need to escape. I think the droids, the, the worthless, I believe their forces are pretty much done. They are spent at this point. It looks like yeah. they lost this battle, which means they're going to die. Which means we got to get to the rest of them and find somewhere to house them and feed them. That's not this area. Okay, so having found refuge in this cargo bay just for a moment after almost being sucked into the depths of hell, Zalora is going to climb out and then fire into the black mist. Okay, gotcha. So we'll call that your maneuver. Yeah, firing into the black mist. So we'll call that two purple. You got one setback die for the fear effect, mm -hmm. and then you have three others for firing into the mist. So that's going to be two purple and four setback die. As I'm just readying the weapon, I'm just going to scream towards the party. I think we're done here, guys. We gotta get out. Hey, a success and one threat. Now, tell me where you were targeting. Probably towards where this purple and the orange dude used to be. I don't know if okay. they're still there, but that's... W I knew people were there, and if they're heading towards the cart, they're probably walking straight. Cool. So, yeah, you fire into there. <laughs> Uh, well, I'll say that while you're down there, you can see that there is a faint power signal on that ship. Oh, next turn. Going to be investigating that. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Anything you want to do with the cleaning droids? Just head towards me. So the cleaning droids begin to clatter into the train. Let's see. Your outside. I think LO can see this. I think the only one who can't see this is Bigax. You see these droids that are floating out here. Uh, they seem to be recording something or um, oh, taking your picture, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing Bigax is on outside. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the wanted list, Zalora. <laughs> Could be. All right. Top of the round. Alex. Would you please roll me a red die and tell me if it comes up to spare? You want a liquid Oreo? No? Okay. Please put it in her mouth and let her spit it out. Nah, she doesn't <laughs> like dice. There's two things she very much dislikes. Citrus smells and 
D&D dice or any type of multi-phase dice. Really? That is not a despair. So it seems like almost everyone is into the second train. Some scrappers are gonna start coming out of the fog and make their way onto the, the first train. Breaking out from a part of junk nearby, a sort of door opens of like an abandoned speeder or something like that, an old refrigerator, zoom, zoom, and some more scrappers begin to scurry out from those areas. <laughs> These guys are awful. <laughs> I mean, I straight up told him that we were going to leave, so just leave us alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see him scuttling up into the train now uh, to be able to uh, start pulling stuff out of it. And they don't go yet, but they are coming into play. We got these guys here. They're going to blast on to the protocol droids. Oh, one triumph. <laughs> One of the protocol droids gets uh, shot down. I'd like to imagine, Ian, tell me if this is incorrect, but when they were ordered to help me, that they move as like a collective unit and they just start grabbing onto the <laughs> onto the Sith, like holding his legs and his arms. They're like trying to do stuff and he's just like, what are you doing? I like that. Yeah, <laughs> I, I like that. Yeah, so that's two. We got p protocol droids in there and yeah, they're doing exactly as Alex described because that's awesome. Then we're going to have some sniper fire here. Uh, this is going to be directed at the crew of the way. No. Wow. Lots of... Oh, one success, one threat. Ooh, that's going to be quite a bit of damage. Ten to wreck. <laughs> or does it have to get divided amongst them? How does that work? Does it divide? Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm wondering too. Maybe they have a shared health pool. They, they in fact okay. do. Yeah. So either number is bad. So either way is yeah. not great. <laughs> Ten is a bad number for either of those options. Four parts takes that full on. <laughs> um, he gets grazed by sniper fire, mm. and he mm. looks at Zalora when he gets in, and he's like, "I'm not going to be able to make it back, and I'm not going to leave the worthless here. Get out if you can." That is going to be that as he like slumps into this second car and the scrappers like pile up into the uh, the other car. It is to a PC slot. I can go um, for clarification. I didn't move myself before, but I am in the hole with Zalora. Okay. What would the role be to figure out where the power this power source is coming from? Oh, it's coming from the ship. You, you can tell that, that there is a faint power signature on this ship. But that's that's where the source is. Is like the ship has power, if only just a little. Okay, so it could turn on. Yes. Hmm. And Zalora, how you looking, girl? Uh, seven out of fifteen. <laughs> okay, I think I am gonna do because we have this little reprieve in this hole together. Um, it makes sense for Elo to default to their primary function and I'm going to do a medicine check on Zalora. Gotcha, gotcha. So 7 out of 15. So that is below your half of your yes. healing points. So that is going to be a hard medicine check. Hello. Two successes, two advantage. Whoa. Okay. Hoshish. Oh, and I have some ranks in Surgeon that will give you three extra points. Ooh. So I'm at 11 out of 15. That's that is not as yeah. way better than where I was at. Thank you. That's better than, <laughs> right? better than seven out of twelve. I'll tell you yeah. that. We're are we running? We're gonna run. I think we're running. I think so. So then I suppose I'll use the rest of my turn to get out of the hole and well, get as far as I can with that movement. Are we running into the hole to maybe fly the ship? to the remainder of the That's what I wasn't sure of, because I, Elo can't fly a ship. <laughs> you, got uh, the, you got the pilot right here. As you're healing Zalora, um, um, thank you. Maybe maybe with this, I could get this ship flying. I don't know. Then I suppose that will be the end of Elo's turn, except to yell to the crew, everybody get in. Understood. Hopefully this is a flyable ship. <laughs> like, we get everybody in here and it's a dead battery. Yeah. <laughs> like, we're, not going, we're not going anywhere. Just hook up Rat as a battery and get out of here. <laughs> this is taking such an interesting turn. Yeah, I love it. Popping up out of the smoke 
is one of the groups of, of scrappers that have that had been in the smoke. They are coming out and they are advancing on this train here. On the second train, the the other end of the, the mm. second train. Some more blaster fire comes out. Oh no, straight wash. Uh, but it looks like it is firing at uh, one of these floating droids. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're shooting at the at the at the paparazzi. Uh, <laughs> yes. Oh no. And then it is to this figure here with big X. I think he's gonna take a swipe at some of the uh, these protocol droids. And I don't have too much hope for this. Star Wars episode 13, no hope. <laughs> <laughs> a no hope. A no hope. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is another triumph. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and one advantage, so that doesn't do a whole lot. But I am gonna get some strain back. And yeah, just like, just like sweeps the blade and there is only one protocol droid uh, up. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at Bigax and he says, You don't have to run. I know what you want. I am here to deliver it to you. You are desperate for it. And I understand that pain. I can help you. I just need you to divorce yourself of all of this. Yeah, hey, look, uh, appreciate it. You know, really nice offer as he's coughing up. <laughs> uh, uh, but, you know, typically in a sales pitch, you start with the carrot and no need for the stick and he points to like outside and you hear like blasters going off explosions geysers and he says I once had somebody else offer me a very similar deal we just need you to submit divorce yourself blah 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 blah, blah. didn't like it then don't like it now and I'm gonna continue backpedaling quietly like as, as calmly as possible he's gonna stop he's not like he's gonna I, I feel like he's slowly like cl like trying to close the distance as you are moving back you know mm -hmm. um, but he stops and he gestures around the smoke dissipates he like makes a gesture with his hands Look at the people out there fighting. Would you tell them to accept anything less than a surrender? Anything less than begging after everything they've been through? After everything that's happened to them? After everything that's been taken from them? I'm not a big fan of philosophical debates. Uh, if, if this and that. Uh, and to be quite honest, I, I'm not a fan of uh, of taking sides, so to speak. Uh, I don't ask people to do anything besides what they want to do. So I can't give you an answer. And he's gonna like <laughs> he's gonna try and judge like where is that hole? Like he's gonna try and see <laughs> like, where is how far am I from the hole? Seeing as he's making no headway. He, there's still like a protocol droid like firing stuff at him, <laughs> you know. <laughs> what is your name? Mm, well, that's not something I give out to strangers very readily, but uh, we'll start with yours. I'm going by Defilus these days. Uh, I'm Bigax. Nice to meet you. Wish it were under better circumstances than. Uh, territory dispute or resource dispute. I can see that uh, you've had very great training, I, I assume. And he's like head nodding towards the lightsaber. I'm going to make this real simple so that we don't have to do this for much longer, but I'm not interested in what you're selling, Chief. 
I know what I have in me. I know what I want to do with it. And what you may have felt earlier. I felt the same thing as well. I don't want that. I don't like where that came from. And if I have to use it, I'll use it, but it's not where I want to go. And it's like probably one of the first times he's felt very sure about himself when he says this. So, if you don't mind, me and my friends are going to get going. We're going to try and piece together the existence of these mechanical beings that you've ruined. Because that's what your power does. The way you use it, it ruins. It's hard to read the face because it's covered. But through the mask, he breathes. So much wasted potential. And splitting off of him, like coming from him and splitting off of him and around you are six copies of him. Oh, gross. All wielding lightsabers. And they just seem to like pull off like ink and water to sort of like flow around uh, Big X and the remaining protocol droid here in this cramped train. Oh my god. Trapped! Hello listeners! Thank you for joining me in the mid-roll. Going to be a short one, bit of a shorter episode this one. We had to split up the encounter because of its enormity, and that's just kind of how the pieces fell together. So thank you for being a part of this new experiment we did with this collaborative encounter building. If you've got any feedback about it, please feel free to send it to me on our Discord, on our socials. Heck, you can even email us if that's your preferred method of contact, but we'd love to hear from you. This whole mini arc was something I wanted to try, and I think it turned out really well, thanks in large part to our players, and we've got just one more episode to sort of tie all this together. It's already been recorded, and I'm just getting it ready for all you little goobers in your little goober ears, and I really can't wait for y'all to hear it. We've got links in the episode notes on how to get information about the unions on strike or about to strike for better wages and equitable treatment. Be sure to check out those links because there will be updates on the ongoing efforts and ways in which you can support them, whether you live in the cities with picket lines or elsewhere. And these disruptions are working. Teamsters, through their collective efforts, forced UPS to come to the table to negotiate, and the AMPTP is reportedly coming back to the negotiating table for the WGA. Pressure, disruption, and collective bargaining works, and it's the tip of the spear that we need to use to balance some of the wealth inequality in our world right now. So. Keep the conversation going. Keep shouting out those laborers because a win for them is going to be a win for all of us and a better future for the working class. That's it. Thank you all for your support, for listening, and for downloading. And now, let's get back to the episode. It is to a PC slot. Alex, I know this would probably be the perfect place for you, but... What if I get that ship running? That's what I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> get, it, get it out of Get it out of Get us out of here. Yeah. I'm going to try to get this ship running. <laughs> if it can. You can get this door open. No problem. There's still power, so all you're going to do is hit that button. I hit the button. The door creaks open, maybe breaking through some, like, rust or something, but... Um, it does come up. Uh, it maybe needs some like manual push to like get it. The ramp doesn't deploy. And this is all like, it's all at a weird angle too, right? It's not like you're entering a cargo bay of a ship that's sitting flat. It's like, it's kind of like hold into the ground kind of, you know, at an odd angle. Um, but you can jump down inside. How familiar is Zalora with actual ships, would you say? Uh, just as familiar as she is with uh, uh, pod racers, if I'm going by skill level here. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, cool. So yeah, like you can tell right away. Well, give me um, give me a piloting space, uh, or you could also give me or education. You could give me education or piloting space. Well, considering one is two yellows, three greens, and one is two greens, I think I'm gonna go with piloting space. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. We'll call this a hard check. Three successes, two advantages. So you can tell that this is uh, the the type of ship that it is. Well, first of all, you can tell that it's really old. This is an old ship. This is like finding, I want to say like a jalopy or something. <laughs> like it's it's so, <laughs> it's from like uh, a millennia ago. It's a dynamic class freighter, so a light freighter. Obviously hasn't flown in a long time. And it's a... Uh, and it's at like a... It's it's like upside down, right? Like <laughs> where you're standing in it, you're standing on the ceiling, basically. Okay. You know what type of ship this is. You know I... that it still has some kind of power signature. You know that it's very old. Okay, I head towards the... Where the cockpit would be or the wherever you would pilot the ship from so you get in you get into this ship and you are like walking around trying to find the the piloting um give me a lore check we'll call this an average check and you can have a blue die three successes one threat so it's as you're walking through here it feels it's like you know these halls somehow. It's like you're walking through. It's odd because, it, f first of all, it can't be because you've never been here. Be well, you've never been to the Scraplands before. This thing is at an, a weird upside down angle, but it's uncanny that it seems like there are details here that make you feel like you've been here before, which is strange. And as you make your way to the cockpit, you find a dead body <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> slumped down. Um, this is a, a body of a Duros. Uh, they seem to have like an old data pad on them. I almost carelessly like just rip the Duros out of the way, but grabs the data pad. <laughs> 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 Just like rip and then toss. <laughs> I got more important shit going on. <laughs> yeah, the body the, the body is desiccated for has it seems like it has been here for many years uh, as well. So uh, easy to push it aside, grab the data pad. I'm going to try upside down. I there's probably a seatbelt or something that I could like strap myself into so I could pilot this. Yeah, you would be upside down. Yeah, so I climb in and then somehow get my arms into the, the straps because I think on most ships it goes over the shoulders, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Much sure. like a, a roller coaster. So it would hold me up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can do that and you want to try getting this ship going, right? To turn the ignition. Let's call it another piloting check. We'll call it a hard check. I'm gonna flip a dark side point and I'm gonna upgrade one of those to a red. So roll me a piloting space check. Can I flip a light side point to upgrade one of my greens? Yes, absolutely. Okay. I figure this is the time we should use a light side point. <laughs> Can I buy some action points? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, so we have uh, a red, two purple, and your uh, pool. Here we go. I got four successes and one triumph. Yeah! <laughs> yes, there's a moment where it's like you flick the things on and it's like there's nothing and then and there is just a little bit as the ship starts to like hum to life. You can see like systems coming online. You can read like, oh, there's not much here. Like, <laughs> but what's here, we might be able to work with. And everything comes online, including a log that says the Ebon Hawk. 
fuck. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, fuck. This is my ship, guys. This is mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Ebon Hawk comes to life, and then it all makes sense. Like, this is why I recognize this place. I've seen hollows of this place. I've read about this ship. I know, what is it doing in the scraplands? <laughs> <laughs> Somehow there's a holster from my Viro sword over there. Like. <laughs> oh. So we're going to have uh, some of the scrappers go. Oh, I know what they're going to do. They're going to shoot the rest of these protocol droids. Let's get them. No! Out Pretty sure there's just one left. <laughs> there is just <laughs> one left. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Jamie, remember when you're, you're going to try and defend all the droids? Listen. We're all going home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two successes, one advantage. Dead. Dead. Murdered. You're terminated. No, not, not terminated yet, but not looking good. Crew of the Way. Okay, Crew of the Way is gonna fight back. Gurr and Rat are doing what they can. Was, I told them to jump in the, to in the hole. Oh, they're okay. Well, they're gonna shoot and then jump in the hole. Oh, all right. Okay, that's, that's <laughs> fine. As long as they get in the hole. <laughs> we're gonna have to have another crew meeting where we all talk about our feelings again and how they don't listen to us. <laughs> Guys, I feel like I give simple directions. <laughs> We've been nothing but open with you and you haven't listened to us. <laughs> Uh, that's just one advantage, so uh, the next PC is going to have a blue die, but that is a failure. They jump in the hole. Where does this lead to? <laughs> Rat doesn't give an F. He's just like, boop, boop, boop. he jumps in the hole firing guns. He like jumps backwards, shooting <laughs> blasters. Uh, they're going to drag four parts with them. Now, four parts is out of the fight for all intents and purposes, but they're dragging him along with them. Cleaning droids jump in the hole. Cleaning droids jump in the hole. Floop. Yeah. <laughs> um, scrubbing air as best that they can, uh, <laughs> just in case. And then it is to a PC slot. Alex, I believe you're the only one. Am I the last one? Yes. Oh, my God. So I'm surrounded by shadow clones. Uh, Big X is very much terrified right now. There's fear flowing through him. And... I mean, I, I can't, if I can, I want to try and get away from these, these, these inky Sith guys. Okay. Cause I gotcha. know, I know I, I see everyone going into the hole. I want to go in there too. Like, oh, there's something down there. In normal circumstances, in normal battles, there's no attacks of opportunity. There's nothing like that. And you can't, you can move freely. I'll say in this instance, being surrounded, you are not able to. Uh, to move from this position, uh, and I will flip a dark side point for that. I'm stuck. Big X will have to make headway to escape from being surrounded. Oh, my gun is busted. Uh, it, it's still functional, but it will have some set, plenty of setback die. Yeah, for you. All right. Me. Well, I gotta shoot one of these things to get the hell out of my way. Okay. As Big X. He's like trying to find an exit and he sees these ink things around him. He's like, get the hell out of my way. And he's going to run and gun. And I have I have one blue die from the advantage. Yes. Yes, you do. Do I still have one blue die from the one protocol droid that's holding back yes. the other guy? Yes, you do. All right. Cool. And how many bad die do I have? A purple, a red, five setback dice. I only have four. On my person. Roll one, remember it, and then right, roll here. again. Here's the one. It's blank. <laughs> okay. <laughs> one success, two threats. Give me one sec. I don't think I can, but I want. But let me see if I can use those threats at all to impede your movement, because that's what. This guy's trying to that's stop. That's what me. he wants to do. Yep. Um, nope. Can't stop you from moving. But he does get a free maneuver. So let's call this. Let's let's say this. Uh, you shoot at one of these. So um, I'm gonna need you to roll me a hard discipline check. One success, 
Uh, two threats. That, uh, the one that you fired on <sighs> dissipates, gone. Oh, shit. You begin to back up into the hole. Now, you can, with your maneuver, I'll say you can make it to there. Uh, this guy is going to pursue you, like, the group just sort of, like, begins oh. to, like, follow after you. All in unison, it's very uncanny. I don't like this. You don't know what you want to use this for. You don't even know how to use this. I know what you need. What you've been crying out for. You need a master. Uh, this is... Uh, space year 2023. We don't say things like that, okay? The <laughs> <laughs> big X hears this, and it's like... To him, it's very odd. He's never thought about that. He's never really considered it. I mean, yeah, he was looking for someone, like, talking through it, but he hears the word master. And he immediately has flashbacks of uh, our old friend, the Imperial. From the Imperial. ISB? Yeah. Tyron. Tyron. And like he, hear, he hears that word, and it's like a it's like a nail being driven into him. And he just, it irks him. And the fear that he was feeling roils itself into anger as he looks back at this Sith. And he shakes his head. No. <laughs> I don't think so. Not anymore. You feel upset. Yeah. I don't like that word. I don't like the idea of being constrained. And I don't like the idea of a masked freak trying to tell me what to do because I've had plenty of masked freaks in my life tell me what to do and tell others that I love what to do. And his hand, un I think like uncontrollably, he just has the gun pointed at Devilus. And you can see it's like, because he shot it once already and it's busted. You can see like some of the power cores exposed. There's some wiring that shouldn't be loose. It's loose on this thing. I'm going to act like I'm going to pull the trigger, but I'm stepping. I'm jumping backwards. <laughs> I'm, jumping, I'm <laughs> jumping into the hole. Okay. Expeditious retreat. Big Axe launches himself backwards into the open hole of this ship. Gurr and Rat catch you as you fall and the cargo bay door <laughs> closes. for listening to this week's episode of Respect the Crits, Empire's Edge. If you like what you heard, please consider supporting us by leaving us a five-star rating and review on Apple Podcasts or whatever platform you use to listen. It's easy, free, helps others learn about the show, and we love reading your feedback. For more information about the show, visit at Respect the Crit on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, or come chat with us in our official Discord. Big Axe is played by Alex Herrera, who you can find on Twitter at A.E. Herrera, or on his Twitch channel, WadeWolf10. L.O. is played by Jamie Lee Bonez, who you can find on Instagram and TikTok at Jamie M.F. Bones. Zalora is played by Susan Spinader, who you can find on Instagram at Suz Laluz. I'm Ian Duncan, your host host and GM. And you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at iDunks. The music in this episode is provided with license or permission by a variety of talented artists whose info and credits can be found in the episode notes. Please support them by visiting their platforms to hear more of their work. The Star Wars role-playing system is published by Fantasy Flight Games. And remember, whatever the system, whether it's a miss or a hit, you always gotta respect the crit. Thank you very much, and may the Force be with you. Nailed it in one. That's how we do. <laughs> Incredible. 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 In one take. We're Incredible. done. Let's wow. wrap this yeah. up. Wow. That's yeah. a wrap. Thanks, everyone. No, don't leave. The show's not over. No, no, stop, stop. No, no, no. <laughs> Reverse that meme. Put the headphones back in. Yeah, put it back in. <laughs>